Hello, this is Jonathan here, and welcome to this tip. Um, okay, so I wanted to actually visually demonstrate last time the difference between filters, and I just want to go over the a um, little bit more about filters this time. Most notably, the bandpass, which people, a lot of people don't really know what it is. So I wanted to actually visually show you guys what a bandpass is. Um, and all I've done here is on this melody here that I've come up with. Um, I've actually just added bandpass on there. There's no high pass, no low pass, just bandpass using a fruity filter. And the cutoff was in the lowest frequency okay so if I play this back you're not going to get anything um, I just up this a little bit about there okay see this area here around this box Oh, whoops, I'm changing the gain here. Reset <laughs> Um It's just around this box. Just around where I'm circling. Um, I'm going to play this back. And this is exactly what a bandpass is. And you can see it on this parametric EQ. Okay, so what are we seeing there? We're seeing a sort of sweeping motion. Low frequencies, high frequencies, low frequencies getting cut off, high frequencies including, high frequencies cut off here. And we increase here, this area. So basically, a bandpass is sweeping across all frequency ranges within a certain a certain range um, let's say a, a box hold on right let's say for example in we have a paint open we have a box here that's our parametric EQ and that's a box sorry that's a box of our frequencies basically what's happening is it's sweeping across like this but certain frequencies are included um, for example these frequencies around this area and we increase the, um, the cut off frequency and then within a certain a certain range um, we have it basically sweeping across here so whatever is in this range here will be the frequencies that are available depending on how much of a bandpass we're using so that's basically what a bandpass is it's sweeping across the frequency ranges within a certain certain box of frequencies it's the best way I can explain it whereas a low pass and high pass actually cut off below or above everything whereas a band pass cuts off below and above outside of the box okay that's a band pass um, and it, it has its uses so play this back with the core or oh, sorry with the everything included there Chord progression and the lead or the extra pads progression to the as a an extra to the chord progression and then we have our melody and the band pass in action
of course you don't want that um, if you had some resonance on Whereas if we were to use a, let's say, a low pass. Let's see what's happening here. Okay. High frequencies are getting cut off. All of them. 